Thirtieth of January, two zero one seven Monday. This a thirteen year old pickness had this serious eye injury about two months ago. Although he had an ulcer some three years ago, so it's unlikely that the eyeball can be saved. So inoculation will be the solution because the eyeball has come out prolapsed. You see, they see nystagmus. Huh? Nystagmus, huh? Nystagmus means the eyeball moving left and to right, right to left, right to left. Compared to this side, there, see this side? Take out the E color first. E color. So, uh, hold first. But hold the chin, because it's still having good. Actually, nystagmus in both eyes. Uh. Is it both eyeballs? Both eyeballs need stagmas. What or is it one? Both. Okay, so now we're given a drip and taking a blood test. Operation will be tomorrow. Today is 30, 30 of January 2001. So one day before surgery, the blood test was taken as you can see that uh, the dog has been suffering from a bacteremia with high total white cell count and neutrophils. It's a sign of bacterial infection in the blood and the platelet is also high. And uh, the dog is a bit pale, as you can see. The red blood cells are a bit low on the lower side and the hemoglobin is low HGB and also if you look at the HCT the back cell volume is low that means this dog is having a dehydration too so it's not really suitable for immediate surgery as he, he may die just by rushing into surgery so we give the drips antibiotics multivites and amino acids overnight and a painkiller and operate the next day you can see kidney is okay and liver is okay from the health screening so if we can resolve the bacterial infection which we give be through IV then uh, it's likely that uh, the dog will, will uh, survive the anesthesia which she has done so. As you can see in the next video. The inoculation of the dog's eye the surgical procedure is as follows. Under the illustration, first of all, do a lateral cantotomy, that is to cut the lateral side of the canthus to enlarge the opening. That is number one. Number two, then from the left canthus, you incise the skin and the underlying layer about maybe 3 mm to 4 mm as you see in the blue blue uh, look, uh, blue strip there then number 3 use forceps to close up the palpebral fissure the, the upper and lower eyelids as shown in the blue and pink illustration so you expose the eyeball the eyeball comes out everts out now you identify the four muscles they call it the extraocular muscles as seen in yellow illustration so take four steps and uh, take scissors and cut it off slowly and uh, pull out the eyeball that's number five 
record the eyeball and then you can see the optic stop optic stop uh, behind the eyeball but don't pull too hard and too rough just clamp it there and uh, like it and take out the eyeball so there's no eyeball as shown in number five then you cut off all the dictator grades of the eyelids and all the associated conjunctiva of the media canters after cutting then uh, there will be two areas where you should stitch up so number six you, you stitch up and then uh, the whole eyeball or the whole eye is uh, stitch up and close up there's no more eyeball eyeball has been taken out and uh, this is briefly the procedure done the surgery done on this pekinis you can so also use electro surgery if you, if you desire in this case dr daniel has done without electro surgery to a pyo vets february 4017 Inucleation of the eye of a pekinis. Uh, claiming the optic nerve after, then after that will be uh, incised and removed, right? Switching up the eyelid margin, inucleated the eyeball. Okay, end of surgery. Then the anesthetic switch off ready. Oxygen on. Okay. It's color okay? Yeah. Color. Color is okay. So they wake up slowly. Just guess only, right? Guess yeah, anesthetic. Yes. Had 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 a drip yesterday and less six and forty call half tablet. Yeah. 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 See the uh, this video the the lens is yeah this is thirteen years old and uh, the lens is a cataract. Did you put together? Together with the eye. Put together and just take out the cortex. So this is the pro protopsis of the eyeball. Came out for about a few few years, and a few months I think, maybe. Okay, there is the cataract. So the dog can go home today with painkillers. There is no uh, injectable, so it should be, should be okay. And there should be a bit now. The lens is the cataract on the right hand side. The eyeball has been taken out. And uh, since the vision is already gone, so on cosmetic grounds and also on the grounds of infection and the need to wear e-collar all the time is is uh, better to take out the eyeball this process is called enucleation and the dog has a better quality of life than uh, if the eyeball keeps dangling out of the socket and uh, getting infected now in fact the blood test shows the dog had an infection of the bloodstream we are given IV battery overnight and drips and multivites and amino acids so the dog should be able to be strong enough to take the surgery and in fact surgery has ended January 31st 2017 about 11.30 a.m. to Apayo Vets now it's around 2.30 p.m. operation about uh, three hours ago the dog has recovered and tongue is quite pink as you can see yeah, so he was given a, two bottles of drip 
amino acids, multivites and glucose, as well as betryl. And uh, this is a very old dog, so you have to be careful. Uh, he was on 40 core, the heart disease drug, about uh, several weeks. So we gave him his 40 core the last two days before operation, and he was hospi hospitalized yesterday to, uh, to boost his strength first so that he doesn't uh, die under anesthetic due to dehydration and bacterial infections. If you look at the blood test result, he has high total white cell count and neutrophils, indicative of a bacteria infection in the blood, as well as uh, low red blood cells and hemoglobin. Because this is a very old dog, so it's possible that he has uh, such an infection and also anemia and the tongue was paler than now. You can see the tongue is really beautifully pink. So we should be going back today. Last time was how many? Right? Okay, I'll come out. Come. So we do the water in the lung, I can come out already. So how many days? Operation. Uh, it, it, so today is Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday do. Today is Sunday, so five days. Huh? He bites or not? No. Where, where's the discharge? Don't see much. Huh? A little bit. Any? Uh, a little bit. Huh? Normally they do have some discharge, you know. Yeah. It's a very little lot. Yeah, they do. But I think we it's I just in, in concurrent concurrently. Loss of appetite. Uh, loss of appetite, that's what we thought. How many days? First two days after surgery he eat well. Correct. The fourth two So now so not, you're not eating. Mm, the colour very good, not pink, uh. mm. It's all the tongue. Uh. He super loves the nutri so he's been eating that. A lot of iron and vitamins. Yeah. But then today he didn't want it even. Mm, after we check. Uh, but the thing is, he does eat. Mm. Uh, just Tongue colour very good. Yeah. Yeah. So you finish your painkillers? Because some. Pain. Uh, four days, uh, suppose you. Ah, uh, the four yeah. days. Yeah. So today, uh, today we'll have no, how many days already? Four, four days, days, correct? Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I want to mention is because uh, there's a bit of ongoing skin disease, okay, sometimes uh, the wound does get infected, okay, so we might have to cover it with additional antibiotic just in case. Okay. How's the stools, ah? Uh? Any okay. diarrhea? Uh, no diarrhea. No vomiting, no diarrhea? No, just pee and poop. Okay, good. Uh, do you change the food recently? The type uh, of food? She, she gave uh, something new today. Oh. The that biscuit, she does eat on and on. Oh. Mm. But just prior to this happening, two days ago. He didn't want he didn't want to eat his usual food, so I matched up the dog biscuit. Mm. Sweet treat. Sweet treat in the mouth. Eh? Anything else? Just sweet treat and biscuit. Okay, because it was getting better for a while, then after the two days ago it started losing appetite. Uh, so third day still eat, but smaller amount. Mm. Then fourth day yeah. yesterday. Correct. So then what I meant was before that when he started losing appetite, did you give anything new? No. So no, nothing new, huh? no treats, nothing, huh? No. Okay. okay, any renovation painting upgrade at home? No. Don't have a song. I'll take the temperature first, I'll come first. But they say first two days, they eat. First two days, very happy, the dog eat, eats. So. Yeah. This dog is thin, so thin. Thin? Yeah, they can feel the spine there. Really? He gained quite a bit of weight in the past. When? In the past years. Yeah, five and four years. Because yeah. uh, before that, the cortical was just water. No, it's okay. 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 Okay.
the inside is not is not great and then his ear his ear also down there so I feel that like it's not really uh the painkillers is it well yeah, finished yesterday yesterday is the Monday yeah how many times a day? Like his tongue, no fever, right? No fever. What temperature? Yeah, okay, or normal. Very normal. Okay, anything happened in the last two to three days? Fall down or anything? But that's his usual habit as well. Like oh. he's happy he like moves around. Yeah, yeah, some dogs do that. Yeah. So. Plus also got skin disease. Okay, no problem. Okay, so now the scenario is such that it's not eating well. Uh it could be because of the pain or discomfort of the surgery. Yeah. Okay, that's a given. Okay, so uh there are a few options you can do. Okay, first one is if you think there's another problem. If not, what we usually do is we just give a drip to stabilize the ions in the body, okay, as well as um, replenish any of the sugars or this inside. No, what he means is okay, no give a drip first. Huh? And then uh, we do the probably the additional painkillers first mm. before jumping into anything else, okay, because uh, on physical, Okay, it doesn't look too bad, the wound doesn't really look too swollen. Okay. Thing, yeah. From what we can see, there's no discharge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, heart, we already know there's a murmur. Okay. The lungs are a bit muffled, but could be due to the heart disease. Okay. The abdomen itself is not painful, just can press, it's not anything. Okay. No diarrhea, no vomiting. Okay. So, otherwise, on physical, it's okay. Coughing much better. You also have less sick, sir. For the call, right? Mm. He's on two types of tablets now, right? For the heart disease, for the core and less six now. Because we prescribed two. Last time the vet gave one type only. Huh? Yeah. So last time he had one only. So. So you're beginning all the medication, right? So what chance are you stopped really? So you just finished the. Remember this? The fourth day, I guess. The atrial and the flap is still there, right? Then we start start again. Ah, yeah. The atrial. Natural is seven more day, right? Mm. Six, six days, right? Mm. Oh, you never give the coronary? No. Uh, no, it was written on the instructions. Yeah, yeah, it was follow-up. Comments after. After that, yeah. yeah.